With the FLL Cargo Connect season coming up, some teams are facing a difficult decision. Will they use the Spike Prime or will they use the EV3? Hopefully, by the end of this video, I'll help you make the right choice. Before we begin, can you guys do me a favor and comment down below which robotics kit your team is planning on using? I would like to know so that I can tailor my videos to help as many people as possible. Now, back to the video. To preface, I want to say that I'm taking a look at this issue from a strictly FLL perspective. I also want to stress the fact that these two platforms are more similar to each other than they are different, and that choosing one over the other will only give you slight advantages. Let's go over the similarities first. Performance-wise, you will not find a meaningful difference between the Spike Prime and the EV3. What I mean is that the motors and sensors of the Spike Prime are not more accurate than those of the EV3. While the Spike Prime is a little bit smaller than the EV3, both can be used to build small, compact, effective robots. Since the EV3 now supports Scratch, as well as drag and drop, both platforms now support the same programming languages as well. Now let's go over the differences. It is much easier to build strong, compact robots using the Spike Prime platform. This is because the motors and sensors of the Spike Prime are in rectangular shapes, while the motors and sensors of the EV3 are weird oblong shapes. And that is why I recommend the Spike Prime for teams that have less building experience. On the other hand, it is much harder to build robots using the EV3, which is why I recommend it for more advanced teams. The LCD screen on the EV3 is much easier to use than the LED screen on the Spike Prime, and during those crucial moments in robot runs, that is very important. In addition, the extra ports of the EV3 means more motors and more sensors, which allow for better navigation of the field and more mechanisms to complete missions. Here's my take on the price. The Robot Inventor Kit costs $350. If you already have an EV3, I don't recommend spending the extra $350 to upgrade to the Robot Inventor. The robot performances will be the same, and the programming languages are the same as well. If you don't have an EV3, and you're looking to buy your very first robotics kit, then I recommend buying the Robot Inventor 100%. In conclusion, since the robotic performances of the EV3 and the Spike Prime are basically equal, the decision comes down to how comfortable your team is with building. If your team has a little bit less experience with robots, the easy building experience of the Spike Prime will be the most suitable for you, and you will learn a ton from it. If your team has a little bit more experience with robots, then in my opinion, you should take advantage of the extra ports and screen advantages of the EV3.